hi welcome to this video tutorial and if you have you have created an angular project without um, the app.module.js file and then this video is good for you then here i'm going to show you how you can sort it out especially when you are creating a new project so if you have noticed like in the first project that we have created here you notice here Maybe you are also facing the same thing that there is no app.module.ts file here and then our project's components here are standalone true by default so how to sort it out so first we check the versions of angular that we have and this one is starting with the new angular 17 so if you have any angular versions lower than that one probably you are going to face that issue it is coming up it is showing Um, as you can see here that the versions of angular that we are having here is 17.1 and that justify the reason why we don't have it so in order to solve that the solution is this one that when you create a new project by default you shouldn't leave you should add these um, options here no standalone as option when you are creating a project by adding this one, we are instructing Angular to create use new projects that uh, with a component depending on that app.module.ts file. So then you can see that the standalone will not be true. So let's go to the practice here and type ng new we give our project's name as missing file 001 and then we put no minus stand the loan right so this is the main thing that we have to be doing and then slowly here you will see that what happened it take a bit some time okay it's asking for the CSS the styling then we choose the default CSS then it's asking for this SSR yeah we give yes and then after that it should start creating files and then we hope that we are going to get that the answer to our questions now. So it is creating file JSON, and then here, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you can see that now that is creating a new project here, that our module.ts file is created. So that's the main thing here. This is our guy here. That is our missing file. And in this project that we are going to get will work as before. Yeah, so that was the solutions here to add these options here when you create a new project. And then we are going to run our projects. Let's uh, wait for this one to finish. so yeah that is it even though it's taking a long time that was the main purpose of this video is to show in this one i hope that you like these solutions and then stay tuned for the next tutorial bye